Hey everyone, today I'm in Atlanta, Georgia, and today we're going to three different Lego stores, including Atlanta Brick Co. again, to go on what will be hopefully a legendary shopping spree with all of my store credit that I have from Brick Fair Alabama to spend. I have at least $1,200 to spend there that I can't obviously spend anywhere else because it's store credit, so we're gonna buy a lot of stuff today. As you can tell, we are smack dab in the middle of the city, like the basketball arena, I think is right there. I'm going to the Celtics game in a couple nights. And then that's Mercedes-Benz Stadium where the Atlanta Falcons play and lose a lot. So we're going, let's get out of here. So we are pulling up to Atlanta Brick Co. right now just on time. I told them two to three and it's 2.30, so we made it. We have like 1200 bucks and then I have stuff here to trade in. So we'll trade that stuff in to figure out exactly how much money I have before I start buying anything because I don't want to not know how much I have. All right, so this is all stuff I'm trading in. Time on a city set, RTD2, part of Quidditch, whatever this bag is, ATSC Raider, and then all these sealed sets down here and then we'll tally up our store credit when we're done. All right, so I got 705 for all of this stuff, which I am more than happy with in store credits. So we're starting out with $1,935. And so as we go, we'll tally that up on the screen and we'll deduct the money. Also, if you guys enjoy the video, make sure you hit the like button and check out the Atlanta Brick Co. store. It's in Noonan, Georgia. You can Google it, Atlanta Brick Co. You'll find it. Ooh, store display promos, cars. That's a lot of cars. I don't need a car, I already have one. Behind me, you see the Lego Bionicles. I will not be buying any today, or ever. I'm currently in the Lego movie section and I'm really eyeballing many spaceship, spaceship, spaceship. It's very nice. And like, uh, if somebody get Lego movie sets, but I gotta get through the Star Wars section before I can decide to buy like, Lego movie things. So we'll, we might be back here. Cause there's actually like, I might get this. It's really cool looking. <laughs> We'll see. I'm not the biggest Lego Minecraft fan because I don't find it very appealing to display, but these figure packs are kind of sick and kind of tempting if I ever do anything with Minecraft. Okay, now we're getting into real stuff over here. This is, this is where, wait, where did the, no. Yes, they still have it. Okay, this is actually gonna be my first thing I'm gonna get. They have Buzz's Star Command Spaceship. It's $100, so we're down to 1835, I think. Yeah, we definitely get Buzz's Star Command ship. That is one of my favorite Toy Story sets and real nice to have sealed in the box. It is pretty cool to see the uh, original UCS X-Wing, which I think is rather ugly looking, but um, yeah, it's pretty nice to see it in real life because I think it's one of the ugliest Lego Star Wars sets ever made. I really like the SpongeBob here, but it's going for 600 and I think I can get one on eBay for like 200 cheaper at least. So probably gonna pass on Build-A-Bob, but it is a very tempting uh, potential set. And this is just a real fancy looking store display sign, double-sided and everything. So I think I'll pick that up for a hundred additional dollars. So so that's 200 out of my 1935. So we're working with 1735 to go. So moving in this next section, just a bunch of used sets that I mostly already have anyway and don't need used like Nabu Fighter. I mean, I've got sealed ones, so I'm kind of set on that. I feel like I don't have Kanan's speeder bike or the speeder chase down here, but I can't remember, and I don't want to, like, duplicate up on those. Like, I also might not have that Genosian Starfighter sealed, but again, I don't remember. It's really bad. I know I don't have that sealed, so I'm going to get the Howfire Droid, or we're going to tally that in. And then I think I'm also possibly going to get this TIE Fighter, and most certainly am going to get the Scarif set here for 100 and 30, I think. So this one's 130. So we'll add the Scarif and I'm gonna move that with the casting and or show coming out. So 130 off the tally. Here's more advent calendars. Hmm. Is this one a clean seal? Because I would love to have the original advent calendar again. I think it is. I'm gonna think about that one. Now they have a lot of battle packs. Now the nice ones are in here, like Kashyyyk Trooper. I've already got a few Kashyyyk Troopers sealed at home. Uh, San Virginia Ocean Strooper, so I don't think I need that. Like, this area seems pretty picked through, cleaned out. But, like, I don't know. This A-Wing, I don't think I have sealed. Only 80 bucks. Definitely could use a sealed raise speeder for $40. I think I will tack that onto our cart here. 
So unfortunately they don't have like a ton of clone troopers left around. I might pick up some of those Kashyyyk troopers. It says five for $60. So that's not terrible, it seems like. So I could definitely get some of those for the army. Found a couple micro fighters, the U-Wing and Krennic shuttle to add to the tally. Not really exactly sure where I'm at, but I know I have a lot less. All right, I'm gonna add this to my 160. All right, we'll add that to the tally. Well, I would need sealed things eventually for reviews. So like, I would like to have the how far droid, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amazing, another 120. He's gonna overlay the price, the amount of money I have. And then as I add things to my cart, the number on the screen magically goes down and hopefully it did it just then. Oh, I think I want um, five scout troopers of the uh, Kashyyyk ones. Yep. And, ooh, customs. Ooh, fancy. I also found this for 15 bucks. May as well add it on as another item. And I'm pretty sure I found something I don't have that is pretty cool. Where to go? Um, the Death Star detention block is somewhere in here. I lost it. It was over here and now it's not. Where did it go? Why sign your Lego set, of course. Yes, what did you say your channel name was? Uh, Sky Nugget Productions. Sky Nugget Productions, okay. All right, so I got these, they're 60 bucks. Add those in, and then I think I'm gonna get one of these sealed. And then I also, I might have a sealed one of these at home or in my storage unit. Who knows? So this is another 140 into the bin here. And then I wanted to get maybe this one, the box is a little dinged up. I might get a different one, 220. I might try to find one on eBay with a better box. Um, and then I was thinking about potentially getting the Falcon because I need to seal one of these <laughs> and it's real nice. So I don't know. Okay, it's down here. So it was 450, no, it's 650. Oh man, that's expensive, but I do need it and I don't have it. That's so nice that is a set I box. don't have. It's a awesome. very, very nice box. It is. What is that, number 602? Yeah. Ooh, 602. All right, so I got that. I'm positive. I have to double check. I'm positive I don't have this, though. So with $380 left and picking things on the floor, I got to make my uh, final choices for what I want to get because I still need to spend the rest of that money. So I'm thinking the Falcon at 420 might fill out my, my budget there, and that would be good. Um, otherwise... I just want to like look through all this stuff one last time real quick so i'm just going to do a quick run through if anything catches my eye i might grab it chima i could buy all their chima that's probably a great idea just buy all their chima sets and become a chima youtube channel i don't know i'm i'm kind of feeling it I'm kind of feeling chima maybe i'll get it to come back unikitty as well it's like a match made in heaven Falcon is 420, so I think I'm gonna get the Falcon because I need a sealed Falcon. So I'll add this onto the top without putting it onto the top to break all the other boxes. And then I was thinking about getting this just as an extra add on. So that'll be another 70. So now I'm over by 110, I think. I'm 110 over budget, but that's okay because we're gonna maybe add a little bit more over budget and then call it good. I think I'm fine with paying 110 cash for all of this and calling it uh, good. Don't need any uh, buildable figures or anything, so I'm going to pass on those. Hard pass, but a pass nonetheless, and we'll get all of this. I'm going to add a first order ATST too. I think I don't have that sealed because I want to do another review on that. Oh, they also have this Queen Amidala. I'm not going to buy it, but it's cool to show in the video. I would like uh, that one there. The, this? Yes, that. Yes. How much is it? Before I buy it. 60. Woo. Sold, maybe, if I double check eBay. And then because I don't know if I have a sealed one or not, the creme de la creme, the cherry on top for this shopping trip, the first order ATSD. It's a must-have for any collector. And, like, also, it's, it's not that bad, okay? I'm going to make a review on it. I'm going to make the case that it's not that bad. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and like if you don't like the ATST. We're gonna get out of here. Let's go total it up. I'll try spinning, that's a good trick. So this is everything I'm getting. Chris is gonna count me up my total. I have some rewards money as well, so I'm not gonna owe as much as I think I owe, but I should be in the hole like a hundred bucks. It shouldn't be bad. Enjoy counting. 
<laughs> you don't mind if I show your list as you go, do you? No, no, no. Okay, so, so I'm gonna round up a, a penny. You don't mind putting oh, an extra penny for things? I do yeah. very much mind. That's gonna with so many items. I mean, that's gonna be like twelve cents. All right, everything's been counted. I'm about to find out the total price of everything. I had nineteen thirty-five credit. So whatever over I owe. Plus I have some rewards credit though, so I'll use that too. So it's more like, it's a lot closer to 2,000. So our total is 2,190. I'm gonna apply all my credit and then I should only be down like $200, which isn't bad for all the stuff I got. Next stop, Bricks and Minifigs in Alpharetta. They got a Stormtrooper outside, wow. So we're at the, the Bricks and Minifigs. Wait, is this one, this one's in Alpharetta, right? Or no? John's Creek. John's Creek. And uh, we met the owner, Chris, right? Chris. Yeah, we met the owner, Chris, nice guy. Really nice store. They actually have some decent stuff on like the, well, I guess I bought one thing at the Tampa store, but just better selection than the, the other store that I was at. A lot more minifigs. Unfortunately, nothing that I don't have probably. I never, I remember I got like one of these canister bionicles for my birthday one year, like, I don't know, 2004 or five or something. It's just, it was not it for me. I was like, but Star Wars, and so, you know, like, I had it, but I didn't really, like, recognize it. I was like, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah, this one, who, what's this guy's name again? That's Vizon. Vizon? Yeah, he looks pretty sick. And this is the three connected into one. The giant dragon. Yeah. Yeah. That's Our wild. Dragon. So Chris gave me one of these uh, very cool bricks and minifigs. Minifigs. It's kind of redundant. And then we're gonna take a look at this to see if it's uh, any good. It's a cool set. So I am gonna get this, I think it's 140 and everything looked really beautiful in it. So we'll add this to the clone army. But yeah, there's some other clones, but I'm not gonna get any more clones. I already got enough of these guys. We're set. Still got Lego Movie 2 keychains. They still have a bunch of these things, and then they also still have Jin Erso keychain. So I ended up getting two keychains, Jin Erso and Director Krennic. They were literally three dollars each, so like, why not? Plus, eventually, I'm gonna want all the keychains anyway. So I got a couple here. Big thank you to Atlanta Brick Co for letting me come and hang out at their store and film things. But total, I paid 357 cash for everything I bought today, including the ARC 170 from Bricks and Minifigs, and then had about $2,000 in store credit from Atlanta Brick Co. So it worked out very well. I'm very excited. This is great stuff. And I'm uh, gonna have to reorganize the car in a couple days when, uh, when I go to head home because there's a lot of stuff to fit in the car. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the vlog of the shopping spree at Atlanta Brick Co. And, I'm glad I was able to get this stuff with all my store credit. I'm definitely gonna come back and trade in more things for store credit because that is a, a great way for me to get rid of some stuff, but get things that I actually need and can use. So very nice. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye everyone.